Thanks so much Mudlarkin here with Nicole and Craig. It's been raining for the last few days so we've been kept out of the tips but today it's dry, it's really humid, there's tons of flies about but we're braving it back here in Teapot Tip and we're looking for the weird and the wonderful. Something a wee bit like this. Oh, here we go. Hole number one. Yeah, and there's some new stuff up there so We'll take a few minutes to have a wee look around here mm -hmm. and see if there's anything uh, weird or wonderful. Lots of broken wee bits and bobs around here. I'll tell you something as well, right? It's been raining for the last few days <laughs> and there's also a horde. I like, don't use that word uh, lightly. There's a horde of flies. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. Yeah, we could call the video the Lord of the Flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fighting among the horde of flies. Mm. Okay, so what do you make of that? Is there anything worth looking at there? Yeah. I can see a couple of little things. Well, I can see something right over here where the red tile is. Uh, if you want to come over here, or I'll just sort of point it out. It's a, it's a stopper or a lid. Oh, right, yeah, and that's I... that's big. I'm going to come in closer mm. because I can't actually see that on the monitor. All right. Um, you know, for, I've got insect repellent on. If you hear me swiping, it's because I've got <laughs> insect repellent on. But the flies seem to enjoy it. <laughs> it seems like more of a relish or a sauce that's just making me even more appetising. <laughs> Can on, you point then. that out again? It's yeah. really difficult to see. It's the... just oh, okay. there, yeah. So... From here, it looks... Yeah, I think we want to take that out because we really can't see it. Maybe pop it down on top of that red tile. Okay. I've got a wee look at it there. Ah. Oh, I know what that, what that is. It is a panyan lid, I think. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's a nice find. Yeah, we'll take that. Now we don't really want to focus too much on bottles today um, but there's a wee pile of bottles here and there's at least two of them that are quite cute. One of them that's actually really quite interesting as well. Alright. Um, and of course there's... Oh, that big hot water bottle the, stopper. The weird and the wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling this the weird and the wonderful ah. today. Oh, that one is yeah, a Yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's plain, it's just yeah. plain brown. Nice, nice. And this lovely little bottle next to it. Yeah, there's a wee mini bottle there. Mm -hmm. These bottles will leave. That one actually has something written. Can you see what ah, this is? Cali fig. <laughs> Cali fig. We know what that is. Yeah, California fig syrup. We've also got an ice wee bottle there. It's got a wee snap off mm -hmm. That one's quite unusual, actually. Yeah, maybe a sauce bottle or a yeah. sauce bottle or something. It's quite thick glass. Mm -hmm. This one's nice uh, sea foam. Mm -hmm. um, oh, there's something on it. Is there? Well, I'll give yeah. you that just now because uh -huh. I was going to look over here. We've got another one of these wee vials. Ooh. We like the wee vials. Um, another wee... Th I don't think... That's not a vial as such. No, well. But it's a, it's a cute wee bottle. Mm -hmm. Now, the one that I was most interested yeah. in... That would be over here. All oh, right. That's Could you grab that, please, actually, and pop it down there? Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Actually, looks like it's really old. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. That one. Mm-hmm. I think because it's got the snap-off mm -hmm. lid, yeah. but it's an unusual shape for a snap-off mm -hmm. lid. Yeah. But well, I say that. Look at how much glass is in there. Yeah, that's as a really well. thick It's really bottle. thick. Uh-huh. I'm not even sure if you can see that properly. Yeah, yeah. I can see there is a crack in it on the other side, so we oh are no. going to leave that one. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Where? It, it's right here, right through here. I can see it from here, you probably can't see it. Yeah, maybe you can just make that out there. Mm. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Yeah. But what do you think of this one? There's a lot of label on that. Mm -hmm. Now, I think you might recognise that bottle, do you? Yeah, I think that's the, uh, the the straw dye that we found before. Oh, right. So that's for hats and yeah. uh, wicker objects and mm -hmm. uh, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, because it still says directions on the top there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Now, do you want to see that other bottle that I said had some writing on it? Yeah, okay, just pop that okay. down. And I'm going to move this one just to the side there. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to leave that stopper behind, though. No, no. And we're going to take this one. That's a really nice Venus Lightning Cough Cure. And now, that is cool. Yeah. There's a really interesting story as well about the... Uh, the Venus brand. Oh, what do you, you tell? You call it Venus or Venus, <laughs> depending on where in the world you're from. Mm. Well... It's a little bit of a, a mystery tale. All right. So I'll maybe leave that until later. <laughs> okay. But all I'll say is, 
the, um, the Mr. Vinos behind this was originally called a Mr. Varney. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Intriguing. Vino's Lightning Cure Cough Syrup has been available for nearly 130 years. It was established by William Reynard Varney. Varney began his life in Scotland before travelling to the US at the age of 21. It was during his time in the US that he came upon a recipe for Vino's. Mysteriously, Varney registered this product as Vino's and not as Varney's Cough Syrup. To add to the mystery, Varney then changed his name to Vino's, both in the US and in the UK. But where did the name Vino's come from? Some speculate that Varney obtained the recipe from a Mr Vino's. Others suggest that Varney was taking advantage of the success of a brand like Enos by using a similar sounding name. William passed in 1933, the coroner's report describing his death by gunshot as suicide during impulsive insanity. In his passing, William has left the world an enduring name that has soothed generations of coughs and sore throats, but it is a name that also inspires a mystery that we will likely never fully understand. Okay, so let's take them then. So we're okay. going to take the vinos, uh -huh. we'll take the two little bottles, do you mm -hmm. think? Yeah, yeah, we'll take the little ones. Um, yeah, there's that wee, wee tiny bottle as well. Oh, look, it's got, uh -huh. that's that's uh, definitely rain water in there. Uh -huh. It's been raining quite a lot, yeah, which yeah. has really done a lot to bring out the flies <laughs> and help the nettles grow as well. <laughs> but it's the flies that are irritating me yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are irritating. Okay, okay the stopper. Okay, dogs, let's get moving along. Cool. Before we go, I'm going to have a wee look at this white pottery here. Oh, it's not white, it's the Grecian pattern. That's really nice, I hope you can see that. Okay, that's really nice. I might take that. I did spot something else a little bit further over here. Take you along with me. And see from the shape there. It suggests it might be some sort of porringer bowl. Now I've taken my glove off. Oh, now that is very nice. That is actually spongeware. Um, and I can see a flower pattern here. I'm going to take that, definitely going to take that. There's a couple of big jars up there, a couple of these big jam pots, but mm. that's not why I'm over here. I'm over here. <laughs> Because Nicole shouted me over, she'd just seen some uh, something that's poking out of the uh, the side of this hole here. Yeah. Um, it's next to that. Can you see that? Somebody's broken. Um, what do you call that? A fork. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that could be a really old one. That was that was in here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think somebody's broken a fork. Yeah. Uh, trying to get stuff out mm -hmm. of here. And you can probably see it now that I'm in closer to that fork. Mm -hmm. um, and if not. I think Nicole's going to grab that and we'll take a closer look at it. Yep, there's a lovely wee pipe bowl. Ah. It's a wee bit of stem as well. Yeah, okay. I can. Uh, it's that lovely feather design that we found here before. I'm going to stick with calling it Florentine. Okay. It's kind of floral, <laughs> isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Uh, so I think that'll go really nice in one of our trinket treasure bowls. Yeah, now we see quite a lot of that design. It's interesting Oops. actually that in different places we see different uh, different pipes. So it must have been that the shop owners or whatever had preferences for the pipes that they bought in, I guess. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Or maybe they were just kind of made more, more local. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. Having that. This item here, right in front of me, uh, needs a wee bit of a closer inspection. Okay, there we go. We can have a closer look at this now. Now, there's any number of things that this could be, and there's one thing that it's, it's most likely not. Mm -hmm. It has all these holes around the top, which obviously means it's there for dusting something, uh, whether that's... Uh, Sugar or whether it's what else did you um, salt tooth powder yeah salt maybe. tooth powder various mm -hmm. things or possibly also uh, pounds mm -hmm. possibly but this is where we get to the point where I think it's the least likely explanation now the reason that I think it's the least likely explanation is because classically. And you'll see this if you look on museum collections uh, or any object descriptions of pound spots. They tend not to have 
a convex top. No. They tend to be concave, so bold like that. They tend to be little saucer shapes on the top. And that's because once you'd actually dusted your document and the ink had soaked it all up and it helped dry your ink and stabilise your document so you could get it sent in the post or whatever, you would then collect all the leftover dust and you'd pop it back on the top and it would go back in. And then you could use it again. Mm -hmm. But with this kind of top, you can't do that. You can't return any, any powders... Uh, through the top there. So that's why I'm saying it's not most likely a pounce pot. It might be, mm -hmm. but it's not most likely one. Ah. See the wee opening there? That would yeah. have been a, where it was filled with whatever it was filled with. Uh, might have been a wee cork in there. There Probably. could have been a wee bit of wax, but I'm mm -hmm. going to say that there was a cork in there. Mm -hmm. most, most likely. Again, most likely. Mm -hmm. There are no definitives in this. We're kind of <laughs> guessing at what things are. But based on the physical qualities of this, the fact that that's domed across the top, mm -hmm doesn't make it a great candidate for a pounce pot. Mm. What do you think? Do you want to take it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll take it. It's quite pretty. Yeah, it is. It's like a wee mushroom. Yeah. Okay, so we found an interesting wee hole here. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen something just off to my right there that I think is really cool and I think you're really going to like it. But I know that you were quite excited about something just off to your right. Yeah. Where do you want to start? We'll start with your finds. Okay, so there's a few things down here. Maybe if you want to come in, then uh, you'll be able to have a wee look and see what it is. Oh, you see it? Yeah. Oh, double O. <laughs> double O. Well, it's not double O seven. It's double O, double O cup. Double O tiny. Yeah. So there's one here, and there's one just a little bit further along next oh, and they're to. Oh, both yeah. in one piece, by the looks of things. No, I think well, they're both missing the wee handle. But yeah, all, all other than that, yeah, they are in one piece. I should qualify what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the handle, they're both in one piece. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon they are? <laughs> <laughs> I think they are like wee doll's house cups, so I'm going to put that one up. Uh, and now that, that's really cute. Our collection is growing, so if you haven't seen the wee short that I put up uh, of our collection of little doll's house uh, crockery, this one's going. these two are going to be added to it. They're really cool. Yeah, that's a really nice find. So two wee for espresso, you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, a tiny wee short of espresso. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're dolls. Uh, yeah, they're slightly different in design yeah, as well. Yeah, this one's much more of a teacup and mm -hmm. that one's much more of a mug shape. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that. There's a slight uh -huh. bevel on this one uh -huh. as it comes up to the lid. Yeah. And this one's just straight. Oh, they're really pretty. Yeah. The handle's different as well. This is a wider yeah. handle. This is quite a tight, a yeah, tight wee yeah. handle there. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So okay. we'll leave them here, eh? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well then. <laughs> Well, what do you think of the wee cups? They're so cute, aren't they? They are, they're really nice. <laughs> now, what was it you wanted me to have a look at? Well, I think there might actually be a couple of things just over there. So, this is exactly where Nicole was pointing, and I think, even at this distance, you can probably see at least two things there that look really cool. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Maybe you want to talk us through that. Okay, right, I'll start at the far end. That's kind of where you are. So, there's a lovely wee... Um, glass stopper there, faceted glass, really lovely. They always kind of remind me of a hot air balloon. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going with the crystal maze. Yeah, yeah, crystal maze, that's true, very true. And then there's this now, I don't know, is this a writing slate or a roof slate? Well, maybe turn looks it like around. It's like a roof slate to yeah. me, it's quite thick. Yeah, it looks like it might be a roof slate. So I'm going to put that over here. Because It's quite other interesting things. though, because that suggests then that there are all sorts of different kinds of uh, uh, rubbish in this tip. Oh, it's, yeah. it's not just, mm -hmm. you know, from one, mm -hmm. one kind of thing or another. Yeah. Okay, what yeah. else we got there? The next thing I really love is this little thing here that looks like a hat. And uh, that would have been a desk inkwell. Now, we found one before and it was a lot larger. And that one seems to be tiny. There we go. Is it all? Oh, is it all? Oh, ah, tiny wee chip. But that's really lovely. Nicole's talking a tiny wee chip yeah, just there. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. We'll try uh -huh. and get in as close as we can to it. There we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's the kind of uh, 
back in the day, um, even some of these desks were around when I was still at school. Oh. You had uh, wooden desks, they had a flip over top and they had a little hole, um, usually top right. And this little object here would have slotted oh. down into that wee hole and that's where you would have gotten your, uh, your ink from mm. uh, when you were writing. Yeah, now that's really lovely. I'm guessing they would have been used in other places as well, like offices and whatnot as yeah. well. But that's very cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Then there's a bit of a poison bottle here. And yeah. I've been collecting little bits of poison bottle for okay. a project <laughs> that I'm going to make a short of for our Crafting with Scottish Mudlacking channel. So, that's cool. Uh -huh. Now, we can actually see on this one, I don't know if you saw that, no, sorry about the big, the big muckle hand in the way there. Ooh, uh, but yeah, you can see there it says, uh -huh. it says, poison. almost a P. Yeah. <laughs> it says oisin. <laughs> What's oisin? Yeah. yeah. And then, well, I see a, a glass stirrer here. Yep. That's cool, but I like this one. And uh, if you don't know what it is, I'll turn it around. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. I'm not sure that's uh, better. I think it is. Mm -hmm. So the, the hint with this one is that there would have been a little uh, piece of um, string or something of the sort yeah. tied just around mm -hmm. here in that groove there. And that yeah, would have yeah. held this on to the rest of, uh, we'll yeah. just say the rest of the leg. So you can a, see a wee sock. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's very cute. So it's a doll's leg. So it would have been quite a big doll actually. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that one is just missing the foot. Now this seems a bit of leather. I noticed something else. Put it here. I don't know what it is. It looks like it's a piece of uh, metal. Um, yeah, and yeah I'm, go I'm going to say that's junk. Piece of metal here. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, more, I don't know. more junk. Moving along. Yeah, yeah, but let's let's not forget <laughs> we've got some nice things as well here. Yeah, no, that's really cool. And did you notice there's something that looks a bit like it's uh, from a doll there? That pink piece of pottery. Be this piece yeah, here. I think that's maybe from a doll. There's piece. there's two wee pieces there. Okay. Well. Just as I moved the camera back there, we've got a wee bit of sunshine <laughs> and it's really added a bit of colour to this as well. Yeah. So you were just saying then that you reckon this is the chin and that yeah. that is uh, a uh -huh. wee lip there maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's a wee chin and a wee bit kind of a red lip just on the on the top there. So definitely going to take that. Okay, <laughs> so what else have we taken from this wee pile? Oh, the crystal stopper. We're taking that inkwell. This glass thing because it's quirky and this. I'm going to take this because I don't know what it is and it's always better to take things and then find out what it is. <laughs> you so. can never have enough rubbish around the house, eh? Oh. Okay, let's take it and we'll get moving along. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to just wipe it here. Oh, actually, Oops. hang on there. We can see it. We can see something of that... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so funnily enough, it says Hooker's Malted Milk, Bucking, Buckingham, England. Oh, well, that's quirky. I've never heard of that. Well, malted milk, I'm guessing that that was one of these, uh, one of these drinks that was recommended for children to mm. try and build them up. Right, uh, maybe it's a bit like Ovaltine then. Or That's a like very that. good call, actually. That's mm. not the kind of malt I was thinking of, but ah. it's more likely to be something like that, I think. Mm. Okay, that's very cool. Yeah, I'm very tempted to take that. I well, think I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing, that is really incredible. Okay, so <laughs> what we can see here is bottle diggers have been in here. Um, it looks like a new area to me. So I'm gonna go get Nicole and we'll get back along here and we'll have a look into that amazing pile of stuff there. And we'll see what we can find. Well, I've been having a wee rummage around and I found this wee cute bottle. Oh, that's nice. 
I just found a wee glass stopper. I don't think it's for this kind of bottle though. <laughs> no, I can see it there. It looks a wee bit big. Yeah. Talking of big though, uh -huh. I think I found the biggest heap of bottles and it looks right. like a new uh, hole has been dug just around the corner oh, from here. Do you, you want to go check it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about to see that. Let's okay. go. Let's do that then. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> Do you know, I think this is actually a place that we've been before, but the diggers have been in here again. Yeah. And they've definitely uh, got an awful lot more out. Was yeah. that the GoPro I heard just beep, beep, beeping? Yeah, it said, you didn't switch me off last time. <laughs> oh dear. There's a lot, isn't there? There's so much stuff here. Oh, that's my favourite find. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a kid's cup. Yeah, yeah. We've got another one. I can't one. get in there to All show right. you that really. Oh. So what we'll do is uh, if Nicole can grab that out, uh, we'll move it over to the side and we'll take a look at it in a second. Yeah. Now there are a couple of really cool things here. I think that might be a pipe bowl. It kind of looks like a pipe bowl. Oh! Oh, that's nice. We've not found one like these before. I can see there's writing on the top and it says cutty on the bottom. Now that's really cool. I'm taking this one. But what I've also noticed is this bottle here. And it says R and I think N and an, um, an arrow. Now this one is etched and I actually really like that. Now what does it say on the bottom? Oh, it says tablespoons on the bottom. Oh, we weren't going to take very many bottles today, but I think this one, because of this lovely etching, we're going to take that and uh, a lot of the things that we find today, we're going to pop in our Etsy shop. Keep an eye out for that. Now, what else is here? There's a lovely, lovely Eiffel Tower lemonade here. Now, we've got a couple on our Etsy shop <laughs> and uh, they're actually filled with beach treasures and they look really lovely. Uh, when they're filled with them. Now this one appears to be a bit fractured. I'm gonna take it and see how it cleans up and how fractured it is. Might not be able to keep this, but it's going in the take me for the moment pile. And what else is there? Now, can you see that? It's like part of a paddle brush. That's very interesting. Uh, that's a brush and uh, still some <laughs> bits of brush and uh, I found a bit of a toothbrush earlier and uh, that's actually really cool. I love brushes. They're kind of such a personal object. Definitely going to take this and uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, you ask. What are you going to do with this? I don't know, but I'm taking it home for the moment. Okay, let's see what else is here. collection of uh, this mug here and a couple of pieces of milk glass but I've also found this cool wee spoon and that stopper see perfect dinner served I can see there's a lovely panyan jar ah, it's got a wee maybe a wee chip I've got a really nice one in the house I uh, just need the lid
There's so much stuff here. It really is amazing. There's little bits of ceramics. Uh, there's some wee bottles over there. There's a wee bottle. In fact, before I go any further, I'm just going to pause. I was going to go around a little bit further off to my left because there's something there that I think Nicole is going to lose it over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but before I do that, I'll have to say, it'll be Bovril jar. <laughs> But that's not the thing that I was uh, thinking about. But I can only hope that that is a one ounce Bovril jar. I suspect <laughs> it's a two ounce though. <laughs> yeah. uh, so let's have a wee look at that. And Nicole's just seen something else that's uh -huh. right there. Yeah. This wee thing. Now what's that? It kind of looks like a marble to me. Yeah, it's two ounce, sorry. Two ounce. Oh no, it's not. It's the very top of a teapot. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was a little pinch bit there. Okay. Do you know what? I think I can smell barbecue. Oh, I can now, smell Now, what something. can you see up here uh -huh. that might be of interest to you? Well, I can see a swing top stopper. Yeah. Um, I can see a little cup that I want to turn around. So, that's where the wee swing top stopper is, if you mm -hmm. couldn't see that. Uh -huh, yeah, and there's something that looks like a wee basket. And yeah. a weird looking object that I really want to have a look at, right? Kinda, a weird looking object? Yeah, it looks a little bit like a cork, but I don't think it is a It's cork. not a cork, but do you know what? You've missed one of your favourite finds. Is that a button? No. Oh. Now let's go into that little white basket. This is the little white basket Nicole's talking about. Yeah. Now can you see something that Nicole can't see, that Nicole collects and really likes to find? Oh. Oh no. What is it? Is, it, is that a pipe? Oh no, maybe, maybe Craig's not going to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it! You see oh, it now? That has really tucked away! It is! It's a stopper! Just in there! Oh, Three glass stopper! Amazing! See that? That's cool! Mm -hmm. Okay, let's pop that out! And uh, I don't know if you want the swing top stopper as well, maybe yeah. not! No, I want the swing top stopper! <laughs> All stoppers <laughs> must come home! Uh -huh. Now there's a weird wee object there, it's a wee ceramic object, it was just next to the... Uh, these stoppers that Nicole found and it looks to me like it's a bed. It does. And I can't imagine what it is. Hmm. Could you maybe burrow that around so we get a wee look at it? Uh-huh. It there is a go. wee bed. Yeah. It look, it's a wee bed. That's really cute. That's bizarre. Yeah. What kind of an ornament is that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was thinking maybe it was a little piggy bank but there's no holes in it. Do you know what though? Mm -hmm. You know, today we're looking for the weird and the wonderful. Yeah, and that certainly means that we met. <laughs> I cannot imagine for the life of me, unless it was maybe sort of like attached to like a nursery rhyme, like Solomon mm, Grundy or, right, or yeah. something weird like that. But that's very cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to take that then? Well, we'll take it, we'll clean it up, we'll have a look at it and we'll yeah. have a think about what we might do with it. <laughs> yeah. But we're taking it today because we're looking for the weird and, and the, the wonderful. wonderful. <laughs> It's easy to see the Victorian period as a reflection of the sombre image of Queen Victoria in mourning. But nothing could be further from the truth. Despite the ideas and images we might have of uptight and morally upstanding people, the Victorians were also a bawdy bunch who enjoyed flirting with risky subjects and humour. This wee gem of a find is an example of that Victorian inclination for a bawdy joke. It's called a fairing. In its original condition, a couple like this one, sat up in the bed and the caption below read, Shall we sleep first or how? The joke seems very innocent by today's standards, but it might have elicited a bit of a giggle back in its day. China figures like this one get their name from the fact that they were won as prizes at Victorian fairs. There are many variations, some more risque than others, and even a motif like this one will have variations in colour, position of its subject, and all depending on which company made it. Most of these items were imported from Germany, where they were made for the British market. Many are marked with a serial number or a maker's stamp, which can help to identify and date them. Sadly, there are no such marks on this one, so all we can say is, it's a great wee find. It dates from around the mid to late 1800s. It was one at the fair, and it was probably the source of a great deal of humour and good memories for the people who brought it home after a fun day out at the fair. Do you know, there was something that I was going to show you okay. and I've been distracted. I probably by that little bed and by the These fact flies. that I've got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like an attack of the mini beasts. 
they're, they're really kind of picking up at the moment. We need a wind to blow these things away. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, um, we're slightly distracted then by looking at those uh, stoppers. Mm -hmm. And it put me off um, what I was trying to show you. Now, the thing is, I know you're going to lose it over this. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. It's, you see it now? Yeah, it, it's it's a doll's head, but it's broken in many, many pieces. It is. <laughs> but I think we should take that. Yeah, yeah. Because I think we can do something collage with that. Mm -hmm. uh, something with maybe light shining through. It depends on how thick that is. Yeah. But there's several pieces of doll's face here. You mm -hmm. can see one. That's that's the most obviously recognisable uh -huh. bit. Do you know yeah. what? There's a nice wee inkwell underneath it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to take a photo of that. <laughs> Bonus finds! Bonus finds! Yeah, I will take a wee photo of that before we move it. Uh, so this yeah, may look a wee, bit, a, a wee bit weird. Yeah. yeah, so there's other wee bits of the, mm -hmm. the face there as well. Uh -huh. I wonder if there's any possibility to, you know, put these back together. Mm -hmm. But we'll ponder that whilst I take a nice wee photo. Mm -hmm. And you might see this photo up in the community section. <laughs> It'll look a bit like that. I think we have to take that wee ink well as well, huh? Yeah. Mm. Oh, broken. Oh, that's Leave a it. shame. Yeah, okay. That's really broken, so we're just going to take this. Now I don't want to be a harbinger, is it a harbinger or a har... Uh, some, one, one of these things. A har I don't want to be a harbinger of... of <laughs> I can't pronounce the word. I don't want to be a harbinger. No, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to start again then. I don't want to be disappointing. <laughs> uh, but I've seen something else that again, I know that Nicole's going to love this and she's going to hate it at the same time. So I'm just going to invite Nicole along here so that we can... Uh, well... Yeah, I know, I know. It's yet another one, isn't it? Oh, it's a day for dolls' faces. The weird and the wonderful. Ah, that is so cool. I love that one. That one's quite good. It's yeah. got both its, well, nearly both its eyes. <laughs> um, yeah. There's actually a little bit more of this one just off to the side here. Oh. I wasn't going to track that shot because it's a wee bit wobbly. Oh, oh, actually, it's not. Oh, oh ho, ho. Yeah. look at that. Oh. Oh, that's a creepy wee face. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, that really fits with today's theme. <laughs> it's the weird, well, that's certainly weird, and a weird wee face there. Oh. I thought that that was part was of, part that of um, you know, part of this one. I thought it was maybe a little bit of chin or something like mm -hmm. that. But it's not. That's so much better. Yeah, yeah. I think the bottle diggers have been really kind to leaving these pieces behind for us. Do you know, I'm going to hazard a guess, but I don't think that bottle diggers are all that fussed about broken doll heads. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think very many of them collect them. We are. <laughs> They're really cool, though. That. Yeah. And what's this? There's a wee thing here. Is that a button? I think that might yeah, be a button. I'm uh -huh. going to pop it down there. Mm -hmm. That yeah. may be a button. Oh. It's a very interesting button if it is a button. Yeah, a very lovely shape. And there's something, this this has marks on it. It's like a brush. I think it is a brush. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm budging about a bit. The focus is going a bit crazy here just now. <laughs> uh, I'm just standing up and down trying to get in and out of holes. Yeah. I should also say as well that today um, we are being especially brave because we are being absolutely mauled by hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of flies yeah. that are just totally buzzing us. We're absolutely oh. caked in deet. Yeah. Uh, it's an insect repellent but these flies are absolutely impervious if anything as i've said before i think it's kind of like a relish for them it seems that <laughs> they seem to be enjoying it <laughs> that is my favorite i think there's blue oh. eyes in there oh. uh we know the story about why yeah. there's blue eyes we'll maybe yeah, maybe say really something good. about that oh. queen victoria folks uh anyway <laughs> you know <laughs> you on uh, <laughs> anyway this is really cool oh. you, you can see the, i don't know if that's I was thinking that was eyebrows, but I think it's All dirt. Right. It might be, yeah. They usually clean up really nicely. I think that's going to make a really, really cool craft project. <laughs> What's your favourite doll's head so far? Oh, I don't know. This one maybe because you can put something behind the eyes if you want it to. It's Miss that Creepy one. here. Yeah, Miss Creepy. I like wee Creepy. Yeah, oh yeah. no, we lost the, the button. button. Okay. Right, let's get these mm -hmm. picked up, collected, and we'll find that button again. It's in here somewhere. Now this is quite cool, there's a couple of things in here that are, well, one of them might be creepy again, <sighs> blown away flies folks, um, but one of them, uh, Nicole's been having a lot of luck finding these kind of elaborate ornate stoppers, and I think this is, oh. 
Another one, mm. is it? Ah, uh, no, it's oh, the bottom no. of a jar. I think that's the bottom of a shipping's jar. Ah, it's <laughs> Maybe casino. something like that. Yeah. Now, if we uh, turn our gaze up onto this little hill here, See, there's another one of these little creepy chops. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Do you want me to turn around a little oh, bit? Oh, that's okay. I'm going to move around it. Yeah, well, that's really uh, oh, nice. Oh, I've lost it. There it is. <laughs> now, which part of the face is that? Oh, I can see. Yeah, you can see the yeah, eye. Yeah, you can see the eye uh, just here. I'll move this away. It's missing the chin, but do you know what? It's got, it looks like it's got teeth. <laughs> it's really creepy. <laughs> it's got <me> teeth. <laughs> oh, sorry, I've, I've managed to lose it on the camera. There you go, folks. That's why I was saying it looks really creepy. <laughs> just found the two cutest wee ink wells. Let's have a look at them. I like this one especially. Yeah. I don't think we, we've, oh, it's got, it's got ink in it. For, no, it's <laughs> water. It's just rain. It's been raining really heavily the last few yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. That's very cool though. I really like that one. Yeah. Um, because we haven't got uh, we oh, haven't shit. we haven't found one like that before. No, no, we haven't. So that's two cute wee inkwells. And look, look what's right next to them. I'll uh, put it here. Can you see it? It's a bird without a head. <laughs> <laughs> it's a headless bird. Yeah. What a find. Yeah, two inkwells. Cool. I love two it. Two inkwells and a headless bird. <laughs> okay, let's have that lot. I curated a cool wee pile of stuff. Let's take a look. So this is the wee pile that Nicole has been collecting and there's some really cool wee pieces in here. I'm a sucker for the wee medical vials as you know so <laughs> you got me with them. Yeah yeah so there's these two little bottles here and uh, right below that it's uh, it's a lid and I think that is probably the another panyan lid. Yeah we've uh, seen one of these uh, a little while ago actually yeah. a wee bit earlier on and this one's glass is it? No Ooh, it's, it's, it's no. Bakelite so we've got one in glass that looks exactly the same and one in Bakelite that's so that's very really cool. cool yeah I'm absolutely loving that. Then I found a bit of a poison bottle that I'm collecting the bits of <laughs> And in the, the big pile of bottles, I found, oops, I found this uh, lovely little cotton reel ink jar. And I found this dripping jar. We're not getting any lighting around things. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, and that's an odd angle, isn't it? <laughs> Let's try and pop that down like that so we can see mm -hmm. it. There we go. Yeah, so that's a lovely little cotton reel, inkwell and a dripping jar. And I found this cool thing. Well, actually, I say I found it, but you found it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, it's so, one of our finds. Yeah, the weird and the wonderful struck again. So that is has been in a fire and that would have been a very small glass lid for a, probably a sweetie jar. That would have been the top. Uh, so that's really cool. I'll maybe insert a wee photo of uh, exactly what that would have looked like when it was... Uh, well, in one piece. Yeah, and the last find, I'll put this back here now. Okay, dogs. Is, oh, if it stays there. That's it's fine. this this bottle, and I, what I really like is the label on it. It just says LE there and something else. And I really wish I would have known what, or I would know what's in it. Yeah, yeah, it'd be really cool, right? Yeah. The, the, these old fonts are mm -hmm. really lovely. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Paris. Oh, you yeah. You know, if you've been in Paris, mm -hmm. you see these posters uh, around the kiosks and stuff, and they have that old... Uh, yeah, that very Art Deco, Art Nouveau. Uh, that's what I was looking mm -hmm. for, Art Nouveau, Art Deco type mm -hmm. period uh, fonts. Yeah. They're really cool. Yeah, yeah. Nice so, wee finds there. Yeah, I'm going to take a couple of these now. Okay, dogs. Well that's us for today, we're going to head back to the car and we're going to head off in that direction because I think there's a few things there that we might pick up on the way. Well, it only remains for me to say thank you so much for watching, liking and commenting on the videos. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do take a second to subscribe to the channel. We haven't told you what our favourite finds are this week, but we'd love to hear about yours. So if you've had a favourite find, let us know about it at the camera. We're going to escape this fly infestation. We'll see you next time. Bye.